Hi, this is Francisco Bujan from VitalCoaching.com. We are talking about waking up your power and the topic for this video is how do you deal with laziness? Uh, that's another question that was posted on my channel and uh, I think it's a, it's a nice one, it's a cool one. So I'm going to uh, give you a few hints on what you do if you feel like you are a lazy person. Okay, the first thing it is that uh, laziness is really like a label, right? People say that a lot to other people. Sometimes it's parents to kids. But this happens a lot within that kind of context. Parents will say, you know, you're just lazy, clean your room, you know, these kind of things. What they are saying is uh, there is something I want you to do and you are not doing it and I have to find a way of explaining why you're not doing it and uh, telling you that, that you are lazy is my way of you know, defending, you know, this task, or defending this uh, agenda that I have and I want you to, to, to do it. So I project this idea that you are a lazy person. Now, it's, uh, it's a very bad label, actually, when you say that to somebody, you know, you, if you repeat it enough times, eventually the person starts believing it. If you are a kid, uh, you know, a teenager, and uh, your parents are bombarding you with this message, you know, you are just lazy, you are hopeless, you... Uh, uh, lay, uh, you know, on your couch all day, you just play computer games. When you get bombarded by this message over and over again, eventually that's what you end up uh, embodying, because that's a label, that's what is projected on you. So that's the first thing to understand. Uh, I mean, sometimes parents uh, project this label on, on you without knowing what they are, they are doing. So get them to watch this video, <laughs> you'll learn something. Okay, um, the, the other thing is that uh, when you feel like you are lazy, you feel like you have no energy to take action, what in fact is going on is that the targets you are trying to focus on or people are telling you to focus on are simply boring. They are not exciting. Okay, when somebody comes to you and says, clean your room, or, um, you know, prepare this report, or, uh, <laughs> you know, focus on a, on a task which in your mind is not exciting at all, you will have very little energy to go and take action, simply because the task itself, or what you want to do, the action line, is not interesting. It's not something you're excited about, you're not thrilled about it. So you try to force yourself, try to... To, uh, to go into this action line and start taking action, but in fact there is something in you that says, you know, that doesn't want to participate in it, and this is your emotional body, it means that there is no, no excitement, no thrill for that. That's one part of the story. Another part of the story is the fact that very often, and this happens also a lot with teenagers, you will be low on energy. You will be low on energy, why? Uh, very often it has to do with diet, it has to do with the fact that you are not giving to your body enough power, enough energy boost. Sometimes it has to do with junk food, bad eating habits, these kind of things, and you end up in a, in a place where it feels like a cloud, you know, really, life feels heavy. Uh, on top of that, of course, there is the demands from society, you know, school, all that, that puts pressure and eventually you simply end up with a very low energy level and you interpret that as simply being lazy or being, you know, it's, it's in your character, it's the fact that you don't want to take action and you are simply lazy. But in fact, I have the feeling that there is another, under, you know, an underground story behind that, something that explains why you feel the way you feel and it has to do with the fact that, you know, poor targets, you know, not exciting targets and also the fact that uh, you feel low on energy level. Okay, so how do you tackle those two things? First, start focusing on exciting targets. Really, things that you are excited about. The fact that other people believe that you should be doing certain things sometimes doesn't mean that it's the right thing for you. Okay, sometimes it is, sometimes you have to uh, agree with them and go ahead, but uh, very frequently you can design your own line of action and simply choose targets which are really exciting for you. That's one thing. The second thing is make sure that, you know, the way you feed yourself and what you give in your body to your body really gives you the type of energy that you need to start taking action. Another very quick tip is if you need to take action in a certain direction, it feels like a big chunk, start by a very little step. You know, this is very often what you can, you can start by doing. Okay, hope this makes sense. Take care and bye-bye.